Hi friends, Rev Janet Jones from High Country United Church up in Camilla, Ontario, here with you at High Country United Church in Camilla, Ontario. I thought I'd give you a view from the pews again, because, uh, you know, it's nice to see the front, but it's kind of nice to remember the back. And I want to show you something. Okay, so I'm going to lift this so you might get dizzy. Okay, you'll see some pews have some green painter's tape on them. You won't see too many because that's our social distancing. So if we were to have a gathering of some sort and um, or a meeting uh, where the green tape is is where you can sit and in the middle pews I put the amount of green tape for a family but if um, if there's no family then two people sit on the ends of the green tapes. Quite fun. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you because we're excited that we're moving into phase three, but it doesn't really change anything for our indoor gatherings. So, but our outdoor gatherings, we can gather up to 100 people now, which is fantastic. Um, so we'll wait and see how things sh shake down and never know, maybe in September when we wait this out, maybe our first gathering will be an outdoor one as we, uh, do fair weather things, who knows? So just wait and see, I'm not making any promises, I'm just thinking outside the box or inside the box, I don't know what box I'm thinking anymore. Anyway, so this week we are talking about uh, writing. So uh, on Monday I encouraged you to kind of think about writing a letter to members of the congregation and just words of encouragement or just to say hi, a way of connecting so they're not just getting bills in the mail. You know what I mean? Um, yesterday's reflection, we talked about uh, how, where you could find some writings or inspiration for writings. Um, and you also got an out. Like if you're not a writer and you don't want to write a letter, just get a card. <laughs> just get a card. Yeah, even a blank card to say thinking of you and that kind of thing. It's just really nice to, again, receive something human instead of an automated bill that comes automatically every month. Hopefully not every week, because that would suck. Um, so today I thought about, as we're in the church, and we're in this COVID-19 time, um, I'm wondering about writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is she thinking about, right? So, a potential project. So maybe, lots of options. Maybe writing what church is like for you in COVID-19 is going to be probably very different for me than it is for you as a worship leader. And I'll be journaling about it and potentially, well, no, I'll probably put it in a bit of a compilation for our congregation because it's just going to be interesting when I go to write this out. Um, so it could be that or how your, um, how your faith is working with you. It could even be some of your most fondest memories of the church or um, how the church walked with you through certain things, memories of events and stuff that really like, oh, one thing I love about the church is the strawberry supper. And it could just be a little, little writing on just the strawberry supper or the beef barbecue or making pies or the mission trip to Nicaragua or supporting the mission trip to Nicaragua or, 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 or I mean, even the amalgamation and all these other things. There's so many things you could potentially talk about and write about. And I thought, what a great time, especially if we're maybe a little less busy. <laughs> I know not everybody is because usually when we let something go, we got to take something else on. But it's just an idea to leave with you. And so if you're willing to write stuff, um, you can just kind of drop it off or hold on to it until whenever. And um, I'm thinking it would just put it in a binder and see what happens and you can email it to us or whatever. Lots of ideas, lots of ways to get it to us. And it's something I just thought we could collect and maybe we share down the road and maybe it's just something if folks are curious, they can look through. Just an idea, who knows what we'll do with it. But I thought, you know, I, there's some great memories I have here and I've only been here five, six, five, a few years. <laughs> Math is hard and counting is even harder. Um, Wednesdays, but it's Tuesday. So Tuesday is the day when I'm recording. Counting is hard on Tuesdays. So I'd like to say Wednesdays, but it's not true. Maybe counting will be better tomorrow today. So confusing. This is why I can't count because I don't know what day it is. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason why I was thinking about that uh, daily was because our Bible includes 
stories of history, stories of metaphor, stories of just of teaching, uh, stories of hope, psalms, songs, poetry, and so much. And so there's this uh, variety of writings that has helped people. And so I'm just thinking, what is it that might help our folks, even in remembering? So I'm going to leave that with you. August, that's my writing project time. It'll be great. And I'll see. And for those who are like, Jan, I'm not a writer. I'm like, point form is just fine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be all eloquent. It doesn't. It can be, I have contributed. This is my contribution. And we understand that because there will be probably um, quite a variety. <laughs> um, so today is Wednesday. So we have our Zoom call at 1 p.m. Hope you can join us. And we have prayers again at 8 p.m. tonight. And um, other than that, it's a normal day, I think. I would tell you what the weather's like, but I don't know because I'm, again, recording on Tuesday. And it's beautiful weather, nice and not too hot. And it's great. But we'll see what Wednesday has to bring us. And um, I sure wish you were here. And that'll happen in time. It'll be great. And then we can remove, hopefully, the painter's tape till, so there's no limits. And wouldn't that be great? Okay. Friends, will you pray with me? Loving and gracious God, we thank you for the words that are written in our Bible, um, for the many ways it touches our lives, gives us hope, um, sustains us, and also kind of helps us walk through the darkest times of our lives. So help us, oh God, to take on the challenge of writing about some memories or anything about the church that just we want to share. In we pray that maybe we can share what church is like for us in this COVID time or what it's not like for us, what we might be missing, what we might be enjoying, whatnot. God, just help us to share our memories with your love and your grace in our heart and with the idea that if we don't write them down, they may be lost one day. And so help us to do that well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends. I guess I'll see you in a little while. I hope. I hope. Uh, but I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you're writing away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you like to write. It's great. Or you don't like to write. Draw a picture. It'll be great, too. <laughs> okay. All right, friends. Until I see you later, this is Rev Jan, as always, saying God is with you. Have a great day.